Hello everyone, it's uh, Father Barry, your, your chaplain at Riderwood, and uh, I'm here to visit somebody again that's uh, of necessity, really, kind of an urgent need, so I've been doing that. And uh, before I go, I thought I'd just come around to the chapel, and uh, you know, I was just looking out at this beautiful day again as we start June. And this beautiful spot, I've sat out here and taken a stroll here a few times. And there's a few people doing that today. Um, I see them out there. And this is usually the spot I, I come in and I visit you guys. And uh, when we do, we uh, usually have the, the Mass on Sunday. And have the, uh, have the liturgies on Wednesdays and Mondays. And uh, so all of that's been for two months already now. We haven't had it. Um, I think in mid-March to mid-April to mid-May, oh yeah, we're, we're well past two months, aren't we? I just have lost track of the time and the days uh, of, of all this that's been going on. And uh, as I walk down these, uh, these long corridors, these beautiful corridors, I have to stay clear of people. I've got my, my mask on for it. But uh, uh, there are some people going by a little bit here and there. And uh, just take a look at the chapel again as I come into the spot here. I'm going to try to say a prayer with you before I leave this area. Uh, I noticed over there in the, uh, you know, in the area there's a, uh, where is that, back there, there's a, uh, there's a Bible open right under that wood carving of the Last Supper, so I'm going to see what it's open to and just pray out of the scriptures. Uh, so, here we are in the chapel area. And it's just so strange to see it empty. Uh, and so many of you have come and prayed here. I hope you're watching our liturgies uh, each week that we're uh, sending to the Riderwood channel. And... Uh, hope that uh, you're enjoying them. I'll be doing the, the Liturgy for Holy Trinity Sunday. But we've had a variety of people lately uh, praying the Masses. Father DeCiano and Father Beal and uh, Father Nava. So me this week and then we'll have Father Virginus, the religious priest, uh, do the one for the Body and Blood of Christ feast, okay? Uh, but Lord, uh, we pray that as we're... Uh, celebrating Mass in this new COVID-19 way. Uh, Lord, uh, look after us as we, uh, as we uh, deal with this uh, together, but in our separate places. And uh, gosh, we so miss being able to be together in this beautiful uh, facility. And uh, I look at that window up there there it is, some beautiful colors. And I want to go over and just shoot a little footage over at the uh, case, and then we'll read what the scriptures say in it. Uh, 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. I notice that the uh, Bible here in the display case area. Notice when it's open to Psalm 121. Let's uh, see what that psalm has to say to us today. A song of ascents. I will lift up my eyes to the hills. From where will my help come? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. He who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all evil. He will keep your life. The Lord will keep your going out and your coming in from this time on forevermore. Well, there's uh, no one around me right now, uh, so I can just take the mask down until I hear someone walking down the hall toward the chapel area. But I, I find it interesting that uh, Psalm 121 was the one that was opened, you know? I find it interesting. Uh, I, I like that psalm, especially in times of trouble. It's, uh, it's an assurance psalm, and it just says, uh, it's, a, it's a psalm that you would pray uh, going up to the temple and especially on a festival like the Feast of Pentecost you know Shabbat Feast of Passover uh, the various feasts of, of Israel when they especially would go up to Jerusalem um, and going up to Jerusalem was fitting because we also kind of see that the way to heaven to paradise is up I will lift up my eyes to the hills where my help comes. It's almost, I will lift my eyes to the mountains. I will lift my eyes up uh, and look uh, look toward the uh, toward the horizon and say, uh, Lord, I, I know you're there. And the Lord responds by saying that he will keep us. Five times in this psalm, um, the Lord talks about keeping, that he was keeping us. So he's keeping us in his sight He's keeping us uh, in his love and his heart. And the month of the Sacred Heart, he's keeping us in his heart uh, so, so dearly. To be loved by the heart of Jesus is just incredible. And it says that uh, he keeps us, you know, keeps us uh, in love in his heart. It says, my help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. That's a familiar prayer that often is said when a bishop arrives, our help is in the name of the Lord, and you answer, who made heaven and earth. When an apostle comes by, he takes that psalm, and the idea is that he's supposed to be a shepherd too, as the church is, a sign of the good shepherd, that our help uh, is coming from the Lord, and he is leading us uphill, baby, up uh, the mount. But the Lord says... Uh, that we can lift our eyes to him as helper. And uh, it says he keeps Israel, or we could put our own names in there. He keeps his beloved, he keeps us. Um, and he doesn't uh, sleep on the job. He neither slumbers uh, nor uh, sleeps. The Lord is your keeper. What a great verse in verse five. The Lord is our keeper. Uh, the Lord is at our our right hand and it says he will keep us from all evil he will keep our life the Lord will keep your going and your coming from this time and forevermore uh, isn't that just a beautiful psalm to think about today that the Lord says he keeps you uh, I love the Irish prayer where he says the Lord keeps us in the hollow on the palm of his hand indeed he does and my brothers and sisters that's where you are you're in the palm of his hands whether whatever we are going through, you're with Jesus. And so am I. With love, Father Barry.